Not even mass corruption, not even a smidgen of corruption, obviously. Okay. The IRS has been targeting conservative groups. Do you believe that there is not a smidgen of corruption in the IRS targeting of conservatives? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right. Tales. Stories made up from whole cloth. Lies. Another day, another delay related to Obamacare. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office estimating Obamacare will cause Americans to leave the workforce. Her monthly premium jumps $260. I have not done anything wrong. I have not broken any laws. The missing emails extend from 2009 to 2011, a period when Lerner headed the IRS's Exempt Organizations Division. And that was the same time the IRS was using unfair and biased criteria to target and punish conservative groups. Yeah, there's no such thing as Lois Lerner's missing emails. It's all been a big lie. They've been lying to the courts, the American people. Some advisor who never worked on our staff. I don't know who he is. He didn't help write our bill. and. So, I don't know if you have seen Jonathan Gruber of MIT's analysis. Well, it turns out he made nearly 400 grand from the federal government off Obamacare alone. You know, I'm the President of the United States. I'm not uh, uh, the Emperor of the United States. My job in the executive branch is supposed to be to carry out the laws that are passed. Fast forward now to 2014. There are actions I have the legal authority to take as president. Executive action that would allow millions of illegal immigrants who broke the law stay right here in the United States. The same kinds of actions taken by Democratic and Republican presidents before me. And I think it's important for the next president to tell the American people not just what they want to hear, or to tell our own base what they want to hear, but what they need to hear. And they need to hear the truth. I'm sorry, but you're not telling the truth.